you know we got to talk about the depot. Now, this should be the easiest of all of them. The Defensive Player of the Year Award. If we just count to three and just say the name. <laughs> Let's just see. I feel like we should be on a court, though, okay? So, one, two, three. TJ. What about some Menka action? Oh! Let's go! Let's go! Who you got, bro? You want me? You don't no, want TJ. No, it's TJ. Oh. TJ gets 20 plus again. <laughs> it's got to be TJ, bro. Oh, he's back for revenge. He's dude. healthy. He's pissed off. All this oh, talk what? about. I mean, it's been going nonstop on, these last however many off seasons of yeah. them putting Miles Garrett over Come him. On, but now, man. now they're flirting with putting Bosa and Come Parsons on, over man. Watt. And, and all because Bosa has is the and new TJ's going to take it personally. The new highest paid defender in league history. Well, go ahead and show them TG. They, they just TG. I said TG. Go ahead and show them TJ that they just waste their money, baby. That's it, because if you want the guy, if you're going to break the bank and make him the highest paid, well, make him the guy. He's not the guy. We've got the guy. So, yeah, TJ. Let me know. Yeah, I think he's going to go for 20-plus. Respect. Respect. Don't tie the record. Break the record this time, TJ. Come on, man. Offensive player of the year. <sighs> Nothing sticking out to me here. Oh. As I look, I'm, I'm being serious. <laughs> I'm being dead serious. So you ain't never heard of Stephon Diggs before? He don't stick out to you? Nothing sticking That's out crazy. to you. No, no, I'm being serious. That's like, crazy. Last year, Justin Jefferson stuck out to me. I was like, this is going to be the year. But I don't think Kirk's going to be as good. I don't think the Vikings are going to be as good. And I don't think Justin Jefferson's going to get the same amount of yards. Jamar Chase, eh. He's good. I mean, all right. McCaffrey, always hurt. Nick Chubb, boring. Tyreek Hill, he's got two as his quarterback. I, I don't see a repeat of his stats last year. That's just it's just not happening. I'm sorry. That was a one hit for him down in Miami. What about Waddle? Because he was the other one, right? Yeah, he's fine. He's, he'll, he'll put up like eleven, twelve hundred. Okay, okay, That's okay, not like okay. an offensive player of the year numbers okay, though. Okay. What does stick out to me though? What about T. Higgins? You, you forgot about him? No, he's yeah, he's cool. Like a little, little wide receiver too for the Bengals. Fine. Mark Cooper, a thousand yards. You feel the coop? A lot of names out here, man. DK Metcalf. Oh, I got him. I'm just saying, if I'm gonna go anyone, I'm gonna go with that guy that thinks he's the best receiver in the league. Ooh, Odell. Does he think that? He's he's, he's wrong. It's, it's if he OBJ, that. bro. Come on, man. He's definitely he's, he's wrong if he thinks that. All right, all right. D Hop is D Hop. Down in Tennessee is definitely D-Hop. Or are you talking A.J. Brown? Which one are you talking? Devontae? Mechie? None of those guys. No? All right, all right, all right. Well, it, am I forgetting a name? I'm talking about GP. Ooh. Hey, now. I'm talking about GP. Not not, not God's property? Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. okay. Listen, I think his floor this year is 1,100. It's over 1,000. He's going to get over 1,000. Respect. But as TG said, the Pickett to Pickens connection is real. Mm -hmm. And I, I am starting to see early signs reminiscent of Big Ben to A.B. Where Pickett's, Pickett's throwing the ball up to this dude. And this dude's going to come down with it. And there's nothing the defense can do. Okay. And we're going to learn that more and more as the season goes on. Yeah. And there's going to be some really nice stat lines from Pickett. And it's going to add up. And it's going to... It's going to be in like the 1,500, 1,600-yard range. Double-digit touchdowns. Let's and go. Let's go. That should be enough to get you in the Offensive Player of the Year conversation. No, if he does that, that absolutely has to get him in the convo. Heavily in the convo. Heavy, heavy, heavy. I think there's going to be some crazy stat lines yeah. this year. All Pickens. right. Like, I, I don't know if defense are going to be able to stop him. Okay. Like, dude, we, we already got to see it in preseason. I know it's preseason. I, I, I get it. I get it. But th this is even with defenders having decent coverage on Pickens. Yeah. And there's nothing that you could do about it. I'm with you. Pickett throws it in the perfect spot. Pickens comes down with it. And these are like 20, 30-yard chunk plays. Yeah. It's gonna add up. Like we we saw this in the pre only in five series. Are you concerned about the volume though? Because we do have multiple mouths to feed that we've right. already seen Darnell's, Kenny feed into. Right, Darnell's getting six hundred and seven yeah. himself. Right, DJ is proving that he's always flirting around that same thousand yard mark. Heavy targets. We still running the ball too. I think this offense is gonna eat. Okay, okay. I think everyone's eating. Let's get it then, man. Let's get it. I We've like seen it. it in the past with prolific offenses, right? A lot of yeah. people eat. Hey, man, come on, man. Let's get it. So, I mean, if I have KP as, you know, top three quarterback, yeah. 
I think he's going to be in the elite conversation. I think people are going to eat in this offense. Let's go. It's pretty much simple. I'm just doing simple math in my head Let's as I'm go. running through these awards. Let's go. So I see it playing out. All right, so you got GP up top. Did you have a runner-up or was it just GP and we didn't worry about the rest? Yeah, not too concerned. Respect it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, for me, an offensive player of the year, I'm a gritty guy. I had to go with Justin. You know, I, I don't love think it's Jamar. Be the same. Well, that's fine. That's cool. My thing is this, man. He's a volume player, and Kirk is a volume thrower to him. And if you're taking away one of the reasons why Kirk would not be throwing, was to hand it off to Dalvin. So now you're just going to not be handing off the Dalvin. You're just going to be throwing it even more. I don't think that makes Kirk any better. But in terms of Justin's numbers, if Justin was already doing what he was doing with the targets, I'm like, man, if you add more to that, why can't you be better? Now, Kirk probably going to have more turnovers, which is definitely legitimate. But either way, that's more opportunities for Justin to get after it. And we've seen, you know, what he's been able to do, man. So that's why I had him, man. I just think, like I said, he's going to cook. And if not him... Here's this other guy. Jordan Addison? No, damn. I need volume. You feel me? And there's another quarterback receiver tandem that doesn't have multiple mouths to feed like that. And we know with, you know, the one here, it's still we're on the front end of it. I'm a little just more familiar with this one over here because I've already seen it multiple times now. Oh, yeah, if it ain't Justin, then I'm going to go with Diggs, man, because I feel like he's always in that 1,200, 1,300 range. And if the team going to be what they need to be this year, well, he's going to have to keep doing what he's more than capable of doing. And I think that he eats, eats. So, yeah. 